tonight only on 11 Alive. A former employee of an IV hydration therapy company is speaking out, claiming many of their practices don't meet federal requirements. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has opened an investigation into the company called Hydra Plus. It has three local locations in Buckhead, Virginia Highland, and Sandy Springs. Palisuro looking into the allegations and has the story for us tonight. What we're doing is not right. You know, I have an 18 year career that I'm not willing to put at risk. And I know I'm not the only one that feels this way, but I'm just the only one willing to speak up. Former paramedic turned IV tech manager Brad Jones shows us his iPhone with photos from his time at Hydra Plus in Sandy Springs. Once I found out they were all expired, I drew an X on every single one of them. He says he's sharing these photos with 11 Alive and the FDA to show questionable practices happening without customers' knowledge. We got new management last year, and that's when everything changed. The new manager came on, does not have a medical background, no license, no certification. So it was really weird for us nurses and paramedics, you know, to take direct from somebody like that. Text messages between Jones and his then general manager allegedly show her asking him to use expired vitamins. Beyond you state 518, I took this picture on July 23rd. Here's one expired December 16th of 2022. I said, you know that you can send these to the pharmacy and they'll give you credit for these and we can get new ones. She said, we've decided that we're gonna use these for six months and then we'll toss them out. Medical expert, Dr. Sujatha Reddy explains expired medications are not as effective, so you don't get what you paid for. You don't know if it'll work as quickly you don't know if it's going to break down into anything potentially harmful. I think that's a problem. I don't think that's being very honest. Another text appears to discuss semi-glutide. It is the active ingredient in weight loss medications like Wagovi, which can only be prescribed by a licensed healthcare provider. Instead, Jones says they were continuously using semi-glutide sodium, which is known as the compounded, cheaper version of semi-glutide. The FDA actually issued warnings to all people and from healthcare providers as well, saying that be cautious of this because it hasn't been Tested. We can't say it's safe and effective. Jones showed us more messaging with the GM saying, quote, these vials of semi-glutide are sodium. We can't give this anymore. The response says the clear ones aren't sodium. He then sends a picture displaying semi-glutide sodium, to which the reply is, shoot, he told me it wasn't. In a statement, the FDA says these semi-glutide salts do not meet federal requirements. These people are entrusting me with their lives, essentially, and I, I felt wrong about it, and I spoke up. Jones says that after questioning practices multiple times, he was fired. We reached out to Hydra Plus, which says it, quote, expressly and unequivocally denies these vague and unfounded accusations and that they will evaluate its policies and procedures to ensure compliance with all laws, regulations, and best practices. Jones says that after two years at Hydra Plus, he's speaking out for his clients and for his former co-workers. For the people that did put time into their careers that actually went to school, for somebody to come in with no degree to free reign and essentially practice medicine, it's it's insulting and it's, it's disgusting. Do I want this, the store to shut down? No but I need her to know that what she's not doing is right. Paul Lucero, 11 Alive News.